Everybody, glad you're with us here. We all know there are hackers online, but how bad is the problem really? Well, a new report shows that it's worse than some might think, and you could be their next target. Fox 8's Brittany Harris joins us with more on this story tonight. Brittany. Tracy, a new report shows nearly 2 million online accounts have been compromised. So how do you keep this from happening to you? Well, we talk to an expert to find out. Passwords. We use them for pretty much everything, whether it's to sign on to Facebook or Twitter. They're supposed to keep your information safe, but a new report from TrustWave shows that's not always happening. The cybersecurity firm says nearly 2 million accounts were recently compromised. It's a big breach, but for us, it's, it's kind of business as usual. And That's Chris Clymer, who works for Secure State in Bedford Heights, a company that gets paid to breach security systems. It might sound strange, but businesses intentionally hire them to find any flaws so they can be corrected. We've seen breaches uh, all year long. It's not a new occurrence. Adobe, LinkedIn, uh, lots of other sites uh, that are out there on the web, they, they get hacked. Lots of people... Um, get hacked at home and, and get their credentials compromised. The report found most of the passwords were stolen from social media websites like Facebook and Twitter, but those weren't the only ones. So there were 93,000 different websites uh, that had credentials stolen out of all the different users um, that were compromised in this attack. So it's not just Facebook, it's not just Yahoo, it's not Twitter. He says the hackers were able to get the information through malicious software, and that can often be downloaded just by opening an email or clicking on a link. Be careful what you click on in an email. Uh, be careful what you click out, click on out on the internet. You know, a, a lot of the seedier parts of the internet, uh, you know, something more likely to bring you malware and other badness on your computer. So how do you stay protected from all this? Climber has a few tips. For one, update your password regularly and also make sure it's hard to guess. And another, download antivirus software. He says that can be helpful too. And of course, for additional tips on all of this, just head over to fox8.com and there we'll have everything you need to know. Back to you. It makes you crazy. It does. <laughs> with all the stuff that gets on your computer, you never seem to get rid of it and it just causes more problems and then more money for everybody. It's definitely scary, that's for sure. Yeah, and hard to keep up with. All right, Brittany, thank mm -hmm. you. Here's a look at some other top stories tonight at 10 o'clock. Sandusky police are trying to figure out what happened to an 86-year-old man found dead in his basement by firefighters. Crews were called to George Martin's Campbell Street home last night after neighbors reported seeing flames coming from the home. A police are investigating the death as a homicide. And a woman accused of poisoning her husband will have her case heard by a grand jury. The Ashtabula County Sheriff says 71-year-old Carla Haig tried to poison her husband of 45 years, who's also a judge with antifreeze. Well, he survived. Haig was arrested Monday and remains in the Lorraine.